is we only have two burn bans here in East Texas so far. It'd be Henderson and Morris County on the map. Nowhere else can you find a burn ban, which is great news, but that could change over the next couple of weeks and it would not surprise me one bit. Mostly clear skies as we take a live look outside. This, of course, is atop the Plaza Tower and looking off to the north there. But as we look at the Almanac, 87 degrees. That was your high temperature today. 91, the normal high and 103 degrees. That was your record set back in 1938. As we look at satellite and radar, not a lot going on. It's very dry across the area, but further to the south, that's where the story is, folks. This is Francine. It is off the north coast of Mexico there and will continue to move off to the north and northeast. And as it does so, it will strengthen. As a matter of fact, we did um, have a little bit of a sign of strengthening with the 10 o'clock advisory. We're not seeing it in the wind, but we are seeing it with the pressure drop 992 millibars now. And what this thing is going to do is it's going to move to the north and northeast here over the next several days. So here it goes. 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. It's strong. 90 mile per hour wind sustained at the center, and then it moves parallel with the Texas coastline, making landfall as either a strong category one or a weak category two hurricane in Louisiana to the east of Sabine Pass. Most of the models continue to inch this further off to the east, which means we will not see a repeat of Hurricane Barrel on July 8th of this year, so I'm not at all concerned with that, but this will increase our rain chances a bit. As we look at tomorrow morning, this is 7 o'clock, maybe a little bit of drizzle in deep east Texas. Everywhere else, just fine. We'll be dry. A few passing clouds. As we move into tomorrow evening, 5 o'clock, to the south of Interstate 20, that's where we could see a bubble up isolated shower or storm, but don't cancel those outdoor plans. Maybe there's a ball game going on. You don't need to cancel that, uh, but the better chance of rain is going to arrive on Wednesday as the storm makes landfall. These will be the outer bands of Francine and the best chance of seeing widespread rain is going to be to the south of Jacksonville and Henderson and to the east of Highway 69. So it's about right here. That's where I expect the heaviest rain to fall and it's really just across our eastern counties. But the highest rainfall totals on Wednesday and early Thursday likely to be down here in our south southeastern counties. Matter of fact, we could see rainfall ranging anywhere from about three quarters of an inch to an inch and a half. Now, this is over the next seven days, but most of that rain, it's going to come from what we see from tomorrow through early Thursday, but very fine line along into the east of Highway 69. That's where the heaviest rain falls and to the east in Louisiana, that's where uh, the uh, storm is going to track and as it does, that's where the heaviest rain will fall. 59 degrees tonight, mostly sunny skies for most of tomorrow. Possible showers off to our south. We get back to 90 and as we look at the next seven days, scattered showers and thunderstorms Wednesday. We do dry out by Thursday afternoon. We're back into the 90s Friday, Saturday and Sunday with a few isolated showers on Monday. Deep East Texas, similar deal. Lots of rain possible for Wednesday, especially off to the east, and then it does fizzle out a bit Thursday. Isaac Casey.